and now we have the screen assembly okay so the reason we did all this work is that there's two screws that we have to get to and they're hiding behind some plastic covers so we lift up the plastic covers i usually like to stick them on this on the plastic frame so i don't lose them okay let's make sure we still camera can still see what I'm doing. Okay, one and two. All right, next we take the screws off that are hiding behind the plastic covers. One and two. Okay, now our next step is to remove these hinge covers because we can remove the plastic frame without that. I kind of like to try if that doesn't work. The other way to do it is try from the bottom, see if we can loosen it, and that doesn't work. So it's a lot of trial and error. Okay, now it works, so we loosen it, and we took off. So make sure you keep them, make sure which we know this one is the right one, and I'm going to have the left one. So let's see if we can have better luck. So keep them right and left and make sure we know where the top and bottom is. Okay, so now we have to remove the plastic frame. This is probably the second and third most difficult thing. What I like to do is reach with my fingers on the screen side and start gently lifting up. If you hear snapping sounds, that's good. Just so you take your time, there's some adhesive. Like so. And what else might work is if you find the seam and go along the seam with a plastic prying tool. That also helps sometimes. In this case it did, so we we'll just go and lift it up on the sides. Now, uh, sometimes there's a lot of adhesive, sometimes it really sticks, sometimes it doesn't. Just take your time and try not to break it. If you do break it, that's okay. It's happened to me more than once, so you're not alone. Okay, so keep lifting it up. Like so, and eventually you'll get it. Okay, let's try going from the seam on the back again. If this tool doesn't work, I'll try a different plastic tool. And this part is stubborn, so we'll concentrate on the other parts. So you just gotta get this corner. If you find a stubborn part, just go to the other parts. Okay, and this part looks up. So if there's a stubborn part that doesn't want to come out, so we take all the other parts out and just go like so until we get to it. This is an extremely stubborn part. But we're persistent and we're going to do it. Okay. And just one more part. There we go. And it just comes off. So sometimes this part's easy, sometimes it was hard. So for me it was hard this time, but then again my other part was easy. Okay, we're almost to the end of our job here. The screen is held in by metal by screws to the metal brackets on the sides, so we gotta get to those. So we look at them, see if we have to 
we unseat this cable to get to them. So what we're going to do is unseat this cable. And it has adhesive. So we're going to try a different approach. We won't unseat the cable, but what we're going to do is remove these top screws and to lift the screen assembly up out of there so it can get to the screws on the side. Like so. And so we took the screen assembly forward. We can get to the top screw now, but not to the bottom screw. To get to the bottom screw, we're going to loosen these screws here. Not remove them, but loosen them. Okay, one and two. One, loosen two, and loosen two. Get this piece out of the way. Okay, let's try again. Okay, now I think we can reach the screws on the side. So we switch to the smaller pH zero bit because we can get in there easier with it. Okay, let's try the pH one bit. Get a good grip on it. There we go. So we have one screw and two screws like so. And let's do on this side it's easier because there's no cable where it's hiding behind, so we'll just lift it up a little bit and get to the one screw. And let's see. And almost there. Let's switch to the pH zero bit again. See if we can get in there. And two. Okay. So now the screen assembly screen is loose from the assembly. We gently tilt it forward, make sure nothing's stopping it. And when we tilt it forward, we see that the webcam cable has an adhesive which sticks to the back of the screen. We want to be careful with that. And there's some adhesive here. And we're almost there. There's some tape in front of the connector where we remove it. We'll lift up this tape, like so. Okay, we'll let the screen rest, the back assembly rest. Okay, once you lift up this cable, you just pull the connector back gently. It's a delicate connector, and it's removed. Alright, so now we have the screen totally free from the assembly. Let's take a look at it. So this is a 15.6 inch LED screen as of early 2011. That's the most common screen that goes into laptops. So you should not have any problem finding it. The other thing to watch out for is make sure the connector is on this side. You probably won't have much trouble with it because this is the standard for the connector for a 15.6 LED screen. Some of the early HP laptops with a 15.6 LED screen had a connector here, but you probably won't have to worry about it. So the connector is here. Let's look at the part number. It's LP156WH2. LP156WH2. So you look that up in Google or eBay and you order it. And you probably will get a compatible screen. It won't have the exact same number, but it will look exactly the same. It will work exactly the same. And uh, that's it. So this is a 
fairly difficult laptop to replace the screen for, but uh, it can be done. Just take your time and good luck. And once again, my name is Eugene Henrikovich. The name of the website is www.screensearches.com. And I'm the laptop screen doctor. Thank you and good luck.